I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about challenge groups, the purpose of challenge groups, how they work, how you run them. Um, so let's get started. The purpose of a challenge group is to pool a couple of people into the same group that can all support and encourage and be on a similar journey. So they can all either do the same Beachbody program, they can do different programs, whatever works for personally those people and what they need, um, that's the way I usually do it. So you can run a 21 day fix group and find people who wanna do the 21 day fix, or you can say, oh, let's see if there's a different program that might work for you. I don't know if 21 Day Fix is the best one. So the whole idea is everybody's doing a Beachbody program, everybody's drinking Shakeology, which means they all ordered a challenge pack. Challenge packs are the best solution for people because they come with a fitness program as well as Shakeology, a bag of Shakeology. So it's setting them up for the fitness and the nutrition, which is we all know the way you have to do it. You can't just do the fitness and you can't just do the nutrition to get strong. You have to be doing both for the best results. So a challenge group is a place where you can pull everybody together for a support system. Now you can run a challenge group by email. You can connect with these people every day in text messages, but the most common and popular way is Facebook. And I'm gonna show you how to set up a challenge group on Facebook. So I'm gonna come here to my Facebook page and I clicked on home and this is my screen. I'm going to scroll down here to groups on the side and click create group. Then I'm going to title it whatever I want. You can do rocking the 21 day fix if you wanna do a fun title. Add your people, so you type in their name and just hit return and it will get them added. And then I recommend a secret group because that means nobody can see the group even exists except for the people in the group. Then you click create, choose a little icon if you want, and your group is created. So the next thing, you can, you can put a photo at the top if you want to, um, but this is where you would do your daily posts. So you could say, welcome to the group, everyone. Super excited to have you. And then you would hit post. If you wanna add people to the group after it's already created, this is where you can add people to the group. Simply type in their name. Their name will pop up as long as you're friends with them on Facebook. If you want to send them an invite by email because you're not personal Facebook friends, you can also do that right here by invite by email. So this is what the group looks like. Um, really, really easy to create, and if you want, you can click on these three little dots and do Add to Favorites. What Add to Favorites does is put it up here in these top groups on your page so they're easier to find. Um, and another common question we get is how do you close the group once it's over? If I click on the members here and click on this person who's my only participant and say remove from the group, you actually need to remove every single person from the group first and then remove yourself. When you remove yourself, you are the admin and so it will delete the group when you um, delete yourself out of the group. So that's how you create a challenge group. So a couple other things about challenge groups. Um, everyone has a challenge pack, like I said. Everybody's drinking Shakeology. Everybody's committing to a fitness program. Um, and you check in daily with them. So you help people stay accountable, encouraged, motivated. They're already set up with their fitness program. They're already set up with Shakeology. Most of the program, actually all of the Beachbody programs come with a meal plan. So they're already set up with a meal plan. Your job is to help them stay on track and stay accountable. Um, Beachbody actually has challenge group guides that are posted in the training here. And all those guides are, are if you don't know what to post and you need some ideas of what to post every day. So you can either choose a guide by the fitness program if you're doing a 21 day fix group. You can click on 21 day fix and it will give you a post every single day you could do for that group. Um, if you're doing a group where everyone's doing a different program, there's a multi-purpose um, challenge group guide you can scroll down and find that isn't specific to one fitness program. So it's a great way if you have people doing Shalene Extreme, P90X, 21 Day Fix, everyone's doing something different, then that's a great one to use as well. You don't have to use them. It's just a really good way if you need some ideas. Um, set up your challenge group about three weeks out. They, your customers need to order, have their orders placed between seven and 10 days before your group starts. Why? Because it has to ship to them and usually it's nice for them to look through things and kind of prepare ahead of time. So at least seven to 10 days. 
um, sometimes even before that if they want to prepare a little bit more. So that will give you about a week to two weeks to correspond with that person. Make sure you're setting them up with the right program. Make sure they get their order in um, ahead of time. So I like to schedule it out about three weeks in advance. You can choose for how long you want to run your group. You can do a 30-day group, you can do a 60-day group, a 90-day group, whatever works for you. I've done it all several different ways. When I first was a coach, I did 90-day groups for um, programs that were 90 days. I did 60-day groups for programs that were 60 days. After a little bit of time, I noticed that people after about 30 days kind of got sick of being in the group and stopped posting and being engaged, and so I started running 30-day groups. And after their first 30 days are up, even if they're not done with their program yet, I will move them into what's called a graduate group that I created. It's the same thing as a challenge group, but it's just where I pool all of my challengers when they're done with their first 30 days to have continued support and help from me um, as they're on their journey. So that's the way I do it now is 30 day groups move them into a graduate group that they can stay in forever and I never close that group. But the way you do challenge groups is up to you. I really try to go by the needs of my challengers. If they're doing great together and they're motivating each other still after 30 days, I'm gonna keep them together if, if it's going well for them. If nobody's posting and everybody's falling off the wagon and I'm the only one posting in the group, I'm going to close the group and move them all to my graduate group to move on. So it's kind of up to you. If you're nervous about starting a challenge group or you want to see what one looks like live, ask your upline coach if you can join their current challenge group. You'll be able to see what they post, kind of how it works, how it runs, and you'll feel a lot more confident doing your own. You can also team up with your upline or another coach in your team's organization and run a challenge group together so that there's two or three coaches who are running it together. But remember, the whole purpose of a challenge group is to keep them motivated, to help encourage them, to help them believe in themselves that they can do this and help them stay on track. But it's not 100% your fault if they fall off the wagon. They've got to do the work. You can't push play for them. So that's the general idea of a challenge group.